Lodge 8 inch 2 quart camp Dutch oven. Brutally tough for decades of cooking. 100% American made. At home in the backyard, the backwoods, or the ball game. Really don't think they're going to let you take this into a little ball game, but that's just me. 64 page illustrated guide to outdoor camp oven cooking included. The front says 56 page cookbook, but yeah. Cabela's 14 inch cast iron tri leg Dutch oven with lid. Cabela's cast iron is designed with a fine porous surface to allow excellent season properties as well as even heat distribution. Pre-seasoned finish creates a natural non-stick surface that is easy to maintain. Flange lid holds hot coals for all around heating. Carry handle used to carry or suspend over fireplace. Today we're going to have a peek at these two Dutch ovens that I, I just recently bought. Uh, I needed a bigger one. I have a 12 inch so I went to Cabela's. Bought this 14 inch. Got gumbo coming up and I needed a big pot. I wanted to do it outside. So I bought that. I don't have a lodge yet. So I have a 10 and a 12. So I said why not get the 8 inch Dutch oven from Lodge. So we're going to unbox these, give you my initial impressions and feelings on, on these two units and let's get after it and see what's in them. So this is Camp Cooking 101. And they actually call this a Camp Dutch Oven. It's hitty bitty. I don't know, but that would be perfect for a solo camp. Not overly heavy, but the legs are good. The outside finish is complete. Inside looks pretty good. Pretty pretty good looking finish on that. The little a little lid. You can see the lodge eight inch. You know on the handle it's got a it's got a weird band right here. These are kind of Kind of bent in right here. It doesn't rotate freely. I struggle with that. But and there, you can see this one's way over here, and this one's way over here. There. Oh, I see what's going on. If you take a look, this one loops in from this side. This one goes in from here and loops that way. So we're gonna have to take one of these off. Straighten it out, put it so it works right. And this one here is bent that way, so it actually rubs on the pan. So, you know, cast iron, looks good. This handle, it's a shit show. Definitely not right. It's nothing I can't fix, but it is something I should not have to fix after spending 40 bucks on an itty bitty dutch oven that that doesn't need to happen just uh whoever inspected it there's no inspection sticker can't even complain about who inspected it so 
yeah, we're going to have to fix this before we use it. So, I don't know. That gets, uh, we're claiming to be the premier American-made Dutch oven cast iron manufacturer. A little disappointed in that. It's not a major. It's not a material fail or anything like that. But it's one of those little things that somebody that's claiming to be top of the line should miss. All right, let's move on to the Cabela's. Now this is the one I was after because I need a big Dutch oven. more packing than the lodge did, but the lodge is small. Holy moly. All right, let's get rid of some of this packing. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong, because the Cabela's is the same way. Opposite side, but this one moves smoothly from life right to left both uh both directions it moves smoothly smoothly it doesn't bind up on the on the pan A little instruction book here it's got some some carrot tips in it Yep, Cabela's Care, Cleaning, Storage. Should say caution, this thing is huge. But, now, compared to the Lodge, it's not as shiny or as smooth. The, the pre-seasoning, it's almost a little sticky. But, you know, there's no big holes or anything no no uh, major imperfections on the inside legs are fully formed intact not broken the outside seems to be seasoned a little bit less than the inside but it's seasoned now on this there is the vent holes right there but what I like about the Cabela's lid is like Lodge and all the other ones, they don't have this great big lip right there. So technically, you could set this out there, put it on your coals, and you have a flat, a flat pan. Actually a pretty good even fry pan. You know, you could put layer of oil in there do your steaks on there if you wanted to right after break your bread or do your vegetables in there so that's kind of cool big lip up on there you know dutch oven 14 cabela's i kind of like this one the, the seasoning on it seems a little um sticky but we're gonna scrub it up we're going to re-oil it and give it my own seasoning run in the oven. And then we're going to go to making gumbo with this thing. So, back to the lodge. I the, yeah, I did show you the vent holes. A little indicator on the outside so you can line them up. I do like the fit. It is a very tight fit. So, yeah, I like that one. I am going to have to evaluate this one because like I said the Cabela's came the same way with one over here and one on that side 
So I don't know if it's just needs a little tweaking via a big plier and a hammer. I just hate taking a hammer to a brand new product, but that's gonna be, you know, especially on something so light, you know, it's when you get stuck like that, you you could you could spill your contents, hurt yourself, you know, if, if they don't move freely. It could be a safety issue, so we're gonna have to fix that. There is no vent hole on this size lodge. So this one's gonna need some work. That one's gonna get scrubbed and used here real quick. Bring this to a close. The, the Cabela's. Fit and finish on the Cabela's is very nice. It is what it should, it works the way it should. Handle goes back and forth. The cast iron is complete and smooth. No heavy pitting, no holes, no broken spots, no missed spots. Don't really see, you'll see a seam. So, outside of the seasoning, very good. This one, seasoning seems a bit harder, more complete. A fail on the handle, which I think I can fix myself. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna cook something in that one, but we're gonna work on it first. So let's get to cleaning this one up. We're gonna put come to a close on this unboxing and review. So um, yeah, it's a definite thumbs up. I'm gonna hurt myself on the Cabela's. You might get a knuckle on the lodge, really disappointed with the handle. So if you like this review, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, that would really help me out. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you want, and we'll be back with some cooking.